and I uh, don't want to jar that experience and by um, just acknowledging gratitude really for, for being here alongside you, listening to the Dharma, practicing the Dharma together and recognizing how precious this sort of space is how rare it is in the world to find these conditions. So this gratitude uh, is really uh, heightened because I know that this uh, retreat only exists, the Dharma really only re uh, is still here in the world because of generosity. This flow of generosity that's come from person to person through history, down through history, a stream of generosity that flows from the Buddha. Actually, it was, um, it was actually the, um, the experience, the vision of the lotus pool that was given to the Buddha by the gods that set in motion this communication of the Dharma for the benefit of the world. And what good fortune that we are here to have these texts being opened out for us, uh, invited into these texts by Dhammarati, establishing the breath as this foundation for our practice. And I'm just really enjoying, appreciating this, uh, this sense of the uh, the breath as the foundation or the anchor for our, for practice. This sense of uh, the breath as the sort of main motif, really, of of the spiritual life. So, on a literal level, we have this uh, sense of the in and the out breath as being uh, uh, this uh, breath sustaining the body sustaining our capacity to embody the Dharma, to live and breathe the Dharma. We breathe in inspiration, we breathe in support and encouragement and guidance, and we draw in this life force of the Dharma. And then we breathe out. And the instruction is to breathe out and simply to let go in awareness, to rest in awareness and allow the Dharma to live through us, to allow it become visible in the world. So today, uh, it falls to me to uh, attempt to practice the Dharma, uh, to place my faith in the generosity of others and to ask for help, to ask for financial support. So today I'm asking you, uh, as Vimla Vajray did earlier in the week, to participate in this flow of generosity, this receiving and giving that enables the Dharma to live in the world. been feeling the kind of contrast between what's happening in this retreat space uh, and the world around me. I am addicted to the news, I'm afraid. And uh, it seems that we're living in the midst of huge transition. And any transition is so full of potential. And I think particularly now, it just gets this sense that we can't pretend that we're not utterly interwoven. Our lives are completely interwoven. And so it feels even more important right now that we really hold the doors open into this possibility of meeting the Dharma. And I think what's radical about the way we're trying to offer the Dharma is that we are offering it completely freely so that it is available to everyone, to anyone can find and practice the Dharma with us. So for me, 
I had faith that this flow of generosity, it really flourishes when we individually and collectively relax our grip and place uh, our faith in this capacity of the heart response, our own heart response, but also the heart response of others. So we're gonna go into uh, a tea break now. And um, what I ask you to do is just to breathe, breathe into your experience this is what we've been doing all along, breathe into your experience and just sense into this question of, do I want to give financially to ensure this river of precious treasures continues to flow for the benefit of all? So everything that's given uh, today, this week, will be shared equally between the Bristol Buddhist Centre and Dharmarati. So please, you put the kettle on, just breathe into your experience and, and just notice how would it feel to give 50 pounds? Notice your response, if that feels really easy or if that feels too much, just breathe until the, you find an edge of what feels right to you what you can freely give without feeling that it's too much, that it uh, doesn't feel natural, a natural response. But really ask you to explore experience and act on that experience in the tea break. So the link is up there on the, uh, in the chat and we would really appreciate your response. Thank you. So we'll be back at 12.30.